Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side. Helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls a little bit earlier uh, today. We've got a guest coming up in our last segment, so we'll get your calls here maybe in our second segment or at the end of our uh, middle of our second segment. So get, try to call early, 844-236-6010, so we don't have to leave anybody on hold. If you have questions about the longevity products or business or my Truth Skin Health products, if you've been enjoying our Truth Skin Health products, I'd love to hear what you think about it. You can find out all about our True Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. If you're dealing with acne blemishes or wrinkles or fine lines or you want to prevent all of those from occurring, you want to know about retinol, retinol 5% gel. And by the way, I just did a post on retinol on my uh, on my Facebook page, my professional Facebook page. A lot of you guys are friending me on my personal page. I don't really check that all that often, but if you go to The Truth With Ben, you'll get regular blog posts and videos, uh, skin health information, of course, information about our true skin health products, and also we occasionally do uh, coupons and and, uh, discounts on The Truth With Ben. So you wanna like that page, The Truth With Ben. You can find out, uh, you can check out our retinol article on The Truth With Ben. I love the stuff, retinol. Man, do I love it. I know I've been talking about it on this program for, I've been talking about it for 30 years. I've been working with retinol for going uh, over 30 years, for 32 years. First discovered the power of retinol when I was working for Blistex back in the 80s. Uh, we couldn't use retinol. Uh, retinol uh, is pretty aggressive stuff. So over the course of the decades, what I figured out how to do is make retinol less aggressive. Still powerful and still effective, but not anywhere near near as irritating or inflaming as most retinol products are, or uh, retinoic acid is. Now, of course, department store and salon products that contain retinol will typically contain very small amounts, very almost trace amounts of retinol. I worked for a company where they used to put 0.1% retinol. That's not even, uh, that's not going to do anything for a gerbil, for a squirrel, let alone a human being, 0.1% retinol. Uh, that, that's pathetic. You need at least 1%. And you really want to go to two or three or four uh, percent. I put five percent in mine because five percent retinol is equipotent. It's the same potency, uh, same retino- retinoid potency, vitamin A potency, as 0.05 percent retinoic acid. So when you use our Truth Retinol Gel, bottom line here is you're getting a prescription strength product over the counter. It's got the same potency as Retin-A, which you're gonna have to go to the doctor for, which is incredibly irritating, which is a nasty, nasty product. And uh, it's gonna cost you 150 bucks for uh, for an ounce, or maybe more even. I don't know what Retin-A is going for these days. When you use our Truth Retinol Gel, you get the same potency, and you don't get any preservatives, you don't get any fragrances, you don't get any sodium lauryl sulfate and propylene glycol. These are in the standard Retin-A formulation. You don't get any of that stuff. And bonus, you get 25% vitamin C, premium vitamin C. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. That's my Truth Retinol 5% gel if you're dealing with aging, uh, accelerated aging, or you want to prevent it if you're dealing with blemishes or you want to prevent them. Okay, so 
we have been talking about connective tissue for a long time. I'm going to, I still want to talk about connective tissue, but we'll take a little bit a different tact here for the next few days. Connective tissue is the key element when it comes to aging. It's the key element in the body when it comes to disease. We don't talk about it anywhere near enough. Unless you have arthritis you probably, or, a, or a connective tissue disease, you probably haven't really thought too much about your connective tissue. If you have arthritis, well, yeah, you've thought about your connective tissue. If you have lupus or scleroderma or, or any of uh, 200 different diseases that affect connective tissue, yes, that's a topic for, your, for consideration. But we really should all be talking about connective tissue because the aging process itself is a connective tissue issue. Even if you get up in the morning and feel fatigue or you wake up out of a nap and you feel fatigue, that could be a connective tissue issue. Do you know the first thing in the morning your connective tissue is tight? It's condensed. This is why it's important to stretch in the morning. This is why yoga can be helpful. Yoga, people who practice yoga for thousands of years knew first thing in the morning, the connective tissue is tight. The electrical energy is constricted in the body. This accounts for, for fatigue. This is one of the, at least one of the reasons why we've, we're fatigued in the, mor in the morning because our electrical energy is not being conducted smoothly and with facility through the connective tissue because it's all sticky and, and clumped up particularly a form of connective tissue called fascia, which is incredible stuff. I mean, all connective tissue is incredible, but the fascia, oh my God, we're going to definitely spend time talking about the fascia. I want to take a little bit of a different tack, though, and talk about the heart and talk about cholesterol and talk about coenzyme Q10, the heart's arguably the heart's most critical nutrient, but at least one of the most critical nutrients in the heart. Coenzyme Q10, it's an electrification substance. It's an energizing substance. And all cells need coenzyme Q10. Now, we hear about it just for the liver. We hear about it for the heart. But all cells need coenzyme Q10. It's not an essential nutrient. You can get by without it. It's not like it's the B complex or vitamin C where you're going to die a horrible death without it because the body can make it. But as we get older, we don't make as much. And if you're on a stand drug, you're not going to make as much. That is one of the, the icons of the stupidity of the pharmacomedical model, especially when it comes to treating heart health, is that coenzyme Q10 is produced by the same biochemical pathway, the same biochemical steps are required to make coenzyme Q10 as are required to make cholesterol. Yes, it's the same pathway. It's the same biochemistry. And when you take a statin drug, not only do you shut down cholesterol, you also shut down coenzyme Q10. And nothing exemplifies the stupidity and almost probably the criminal nature of the pharmacomedical model, the pharmacomedical mafia, as it's been called. Not by me. I've heard others say. Anyway, heart disease is an energy disease. And heart disease is a serious, serious problem, as we all know. It's an energy problem. That same kind of problem that happens first thing in the morning when your connective tissue is shriveled and condensed can happen in the heart. What's worse is because the heart is working so hard, it exhibits the signs of nutritional deficiency very, very quickly. In fact, nothing exhibits the signs of nutritional deficiency faster than the heart, except perhaps the skin and the digestive tract. Probably skin, digestive tract, maybe the immune system. But the heart's right up there as far as uh, rapidity, the rapid nature of the effects of deficiency, how quickly they show up. It doesn't take very long. Go a couple of days without B-complex, without the B-complex and vitamin C, which is hard to do, but if you did, you'd start to notice some cardiovascular effects. So heart disease is an energy disease. It begins with damage to the heart, and this damage is subsequent. It follows nutritional deficiency. It follows problems with oxygen. It follows uh, amplified chronic stress response. It follows all the standard things that we talk about on this program. It follows heart disease follows is subsequent to bad living. That's basically what you can think of. Bad, just inartful living. When I say bad living, I mean inartful living. Living's an art. How to live effectively is, is a science and it's also an art. You've got to know how to weave and bob. You've got to know how to navigate. You've got to know how to surf the waves. Life has certain waves and you've got to know how to surf them. You've got to know what to put in your body, what not to put in your body, so that you can, you can ride the waves of our lives, ride the waves of our experiences, ride the waves of our circumstances, ride the waves of our thoughts and emotions and feelings. And all of this is, is in addition to being a science, it's also an art, and a lot of it involves how we nutriate ourselves. It involves how we live our lives. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this.
street side, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'll get your calls here in just a moment. Got a bunch of folks on the line here. Uh, I want to tell you some. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let me just say a couple things about coins on Q10 and also something called high aluronic acid. I know you guys have heard of that. High aluronic acid uh, has, is well known as a, uh, a stimulant of the production of connective tissue for wound healing. It also is relevant for the heart and cardiovascular health. So is CoQ10. If you're on a statin drug, take coenzyme some Q10, 100 milligrams a day. If you're not on a statin drug, take coins on Q10, 100 milligrams a day. If you're not even, your heart's not even whacked out, if you're not even, don't even have heart disease, take coins on Q10. Maybe not 100 milligrams a day, but certainly you want to do anywhere from 20 to 50 milligrams a day. Coenzyme Q10, and it comes in two different varieties, ubiquinone, N-O-N-E, and ubiquinol, N-O-L-E, known and all. We'll be talking about that in the coming days. So uh, let's see. Anything else I want to tell you here? Uh, we'll talk about it. We'll, we'll continue this discussion tomorrow. 844-236-6010 is our number. Rose in Virginia. What's going on? Hi, Ben. It was, it's nice hearing you. Um, my heart was, uh, went after, you know, the lady that had, you know, and I'm not a cat person, but oh, I... Oh, it wasn't that... I know. I got a bunch of, le I got a yeah, bunch of letters about so, that. Uh, she mentioned about this cat that had... If I were her, please to consider a metal detox and a liver detox. Dr. Brood has Dr. Who? Ones. And then another thing when it comes to... No, no, hang case, on, Rose, 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 stop for a second. Dr. Who? I didn't hear you say. Dr. Dr. Group. Oh, Dr. Group, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, and Dr. Group, okay. When it comes to the skin, the old school, they used to use coconut oil, uh -huh. avocado oil. Uh -huh. And then to consider a humidifier. This is how people keep their skin moist. That's a, all good ideas, although avocado oil is not a good oil for the skin. In fact, really? avocado oil... Avocado oil is an omega-6 rich oil, very unstable oil. In fact, no oil is good for the skin. Well, hang on. Let me finish real quick, Rose. No oil is good for the skin with the exception of coconut oil coconut. and then jojoba oil, which is, uh, which is a, uh, not an oil, technically. So we're not even going to call it jojoba oil. Coconut oil is the only vegetable oil you should ever put on your skin, in my opinion. Those omega-3 and omega-6 rich oils that you see in fancy creams and lotions, they're not a good idea. They oxidize okay. readily in the presence of oxygen, in the presence of sun, even in the presence of the heat of your, or even when, uh, from the heat of your skin, they can oxidize. I can always tell a crappy, ignorant formulation by looking at the ingredient deck. And I, okay. I don't expect everybody can do it, but I can do it because I've been doing it for so long. And when I see grapeseed oil or pumpkin seed oil, these su uh, supposedly exotic oils, I know we've got an ignorant formulation or a company that just doesn't care, one or the other or both. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Rose. And uh, no, no, I want to get... Then I make the collection. What's the nurse that sees Stephen, she, she mentioned uh, avocado, but I know coconut is very good. I use coconut it is even, good, yes, ma'am. Yeah, and I use I even use in my face a uh, uh, vinegar, like you said, you know. Yes, uh, yes, good job. Thank Have you. The combination I hope it helps. Thank God you for your call, you. Rosie. I hope thank everybody's you. well. Say hi to Steve my for love me. For you, he's doing much progress. I'll keep in touch. Please stay in touch. God bless you, Rose. Take care. I will. God bless Okay, that's my friend Rose from... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off there, Rose. All right, Lee. My buddy Lee, what's going on? Hey, Ben. How you doing? How you doing, Lee? Uh, how's good. the fam? How's your, how's your dad doing? How's he loving the truth? Hey, he's loving the truth, man. He's, he's loving the truth? Bit. I love 20 it. Years, 20 years younger. Don't be lying to me now. Don't be make, blowing make, smoke. Making my, mom, making my mom a little bit uh, yeah. Sure. Is he? No, serious. His skin must be looking good. It's been how many months? It's been probably four months or so. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the only thing we have left is the Retin-A, but we're going to order the uh, truth serum. Not Retin-A, Retinol. Retinol, I'm sorry. That's all right. What's, what's going um, on, buddy? I had a question. Actually, speaking of this, I had a question, a couple questions. The first one was uh, about uh, vitamin D topically. If there's any benefit to it? Oh, you know, you're going to start to see this in the in the uh, coming years. Uh, vitamin D topically. I've been using vitamin D in my formulations for a long time. It's actually a prescription. Vitamin D is used as a uh, in a prescription product called Dovinex. I, I probably haven't heard of that. Folks who have psoriasis sometimes have heard of Dovinex. It's a it's pretty much the only topical uh, uh, prescription remedy or prescription product for psoriasis. Dovinex is specifically for psoriasis. There's a lot. 
that they use for psoriasis, mostly steroid creams, but vitamin D is specific, uh, Dovonex with vitamin D is specific for psoriasis. And that's because vitamin D is epic for dealing with psoriasis and a lot of skin problems and it's very underappreciated. So your point is very well taken there, Mr. Lee. Vitamin D is made in what part of the body? What organ of the body makes vitamin D, Lee? Vitamin D, if I had to guess, I'd say the, the bacteria of, of the stomach. Oh, that's not a not too shabby guess, but that's not your body. That's not your cells. Which one oh, of your cells? True. Which I one of your cells? Yeah. I don't know. Um, and maybe the skin. Perhaps that's either. exactly right. Yeah, that's exactly right. Vitamin D is made in skin cells. Vitamin D is made from a re chemical reaction that occurs between cholesterol in the skin. Yet another reason why uh, why cholesterol is important. Vitamin D is cholesterol. Let's be very clear here. Vitamin D is a version of cholesterol. It's a tweaked well, version. I'm just kidding. yeah, I know, right? Uh, <laughs> Crazy. Uh, so I vitamin D is a actually. tweaked. Vitamin D is cholesterol. It's it's a tweaked version of cholesterol. And what is it that tweaks that cholesterol? Do you know to turn it into vitamin D? What, what tweaks the cholesterol? Yeah. What is um, it that there's... creates that little chemical reaction that turns cholesterol into vitamin D? The sun. Why would it? Yes. In the pineal, stimulation of the pineal gland. Well, no. Uh, it's actually ultraviolet radiation. The pineal gland is obviously important. I love the pineal gland. We should spend. We'll spend some time talking about the pineal gland here. Oh, I thought it had uh, to do with the stimulation of the pineal gland, which then like causes skin to. No, as, like, a it's a direct reaction, and uh, it's a solar reaction, which is why tan is important. Which is why laying out in the sun is important. Not necessarily tan, but laying out in the sun is important because you're turning that cholesterol into vitamin D by the action of the sun. You know, there's so many misunderstandings in health in general around cholesterol, around the sun, around collagen, as we've been talking about. Uh, but vitamin D, to answer your question, vitamin D is going to be, my prediction is, vitamin D is going to become more and more recognized as an active skincare ingredient. You're going to see commercials. You know, this is what the big companies, the big skincare companies do. They'll, they'll uh, catch on, latch on to an ingredient, and all of a sudden, it'll be on Dr. Oz, and it'll be on, you know, the doctors or whatever show you're watching on TV. It'll be in the main mainstream and everybody will be have and uh, SD Lauder and you know all the big skincare companies will have their have their vitamin now with vitamin D just like now you see a Neutrogena now with high hyaluronic acid well we've known about yeah. hyaluronic acid for decades and we've known about vitamin yeah. D for decades so uh, as far one, as one, one, as far one, as one, anti one. let me just say this real quick real quick topical vitamin D is not just for for people who have skin diseases but it also has anti-aging effects vitamin D is an incredibly important nutrient Nutrient. You notice I didn't say vitamin because it's more than a vitamin. It's a hormone, and it's unbelievably, unbelievably important. And unfortunately, you can't really get the benefits. Well, I shouldn't say unfortunately. You can't, but, but you can't get as much benefit from the supplemental vitamin D as you can from the sun. The sun is the way to get your vitamin D. It's how the body prefers the vitamin D. Then food, then supplements. You can certainly get benefits from supplements, though. I, I didn't mean to say that you couldn't benefit from supplements. Go ahead, Lee. Or, okay, uh, okay. Did you have anything else? Yeah, I have one more thing I want to ask you. Do it. Okay, well, then hang on for the break, and uh, we'll, finish, we'll finish up when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open, 844-236-6010. We got a guest coming up, uh, John Tweedy, the underwear guy. I'll explain when we come back from our break. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. All right, we're back on The Bright Side. I am Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We do have lines open for you. We will have a guest, uh, John Tweedy, will be on Tweedy. We'll be on in our fourth segment. He's got a really interesting story to tell about weight loss and longevity. If you're doing the longevity business, you definitely want to hear what the underwear guy has to say. He's got a really cool website where he appears in his underwear, and he's very proud of himself appearing in his underwear, as you would be and I would be if we lost as much weight as underwear guy did. And we'll be talking to John about how he lost his weight and uh, how he uses the longevity products. In our last segment, 844-236-6010 is our number. So uh, let's see here. Where's my friend Lee? Lee, you there? Yes. All right. What made you I'm ask there. about vitamin D? What made you? Uh, so the vitamin D was covered. So it, it, it's, it's a go for the vitamin D. Why did you uh, want to know about uh, vitamin D? Why did you ask did about you vitamin D? Why did you ask about vitamin D? Just for curiosity. Because, because you, you put so much emphasis on all these other fat-soluble uh Transdermal applications of vitamins and, and the and not the vitamin D as much. 
Yeah, and yeah, yeah, that's why I wanted to know. I'm like, why are yeah. this one out? Vitamin, vitamin E could be good for the skin. That's a great and, question. And, that's a great question. You should ask me that question. That's a great question. E? Yeah, why am I not? Why do I focus on vitamin C and uh, vitamin A and not vitamin D, right? Because I do. I just know those are, I guess, we're more, we're more de deficient in. Yes, the deficiencies in C and A for the skin are so sig are significant. I'll tell you why. This is very interesting. When you're deficient in C and you're deficient in A from a, a lousy diet, standard American diet, or you're not supplementing, and when you're deficient yeah. really in any nutrients, but especially vitamin C and A, your skin will get robbed of those nutrients. So you can bypass that effect, that, that, that sort of stealing effect by putting them, topic, putting them on topically. With vitamin D, you don't have to worry about it as much because it's made in the skin. Yeah, you so follow it's me? As, it's yeah, not yeah. as significant. Not that it's not significant. It is. But it's not oh, as yeah. significant as C and A. Secondly, the benefits from C and A for anti-aging are just too astoundingly voluminous. Vitamin D isn't in that same category uh, as, as being specific for skin health as vitamin C and vitamin A are. Not that it's not important and not that it doesn't have benefits, because it does, but C and A are the first things to go with. Then probably D is probably the next thing to go with, actually, and I will be doing that topical vitamin D as soon as my non-compete is up here uh, coming up in okay. July. Uh, ben, was, my, the second question was just, uh, something, you know, every time I listen to you, I feel like you, you talk about SMEP, which is, you know, the level of, of change. I just, I, I, if you can elaborate a little bit on the, on SMEP? The, on the, well, just particularly at the spiritual level, like where does, it, where does that change begin? Well, I'm glad you asked that. I don't get to talk about that as much as I'd like to, because that is really what it all comes down to is the sp our spiritual nature. Let's be very clear about that. Whenever I do my presentations, I always start off by talking about SMEP. As you said, Lee, I hate that. I, I don't like the way that sounds, though. I got to come up with a better way of saying it. But SMEP, uh, spiritual, mental, emotional, physical. That those are the four steps of wellness and health, or the lack thereof, or the four uh, components of, of health and wellness. And I don't talk about it a lot, but it's very important to recognize that the physical is at the end of a sp of the spiritual, mental, and uh, uh, emotional flow. Yeah, it flows in that direction. Spiritual, mental, emotional. I believe, and I, I kind of talked about it a little bit, and I've been talking about a little bit, this idea of separation. You know, spirituality to me is about wholeness. Does that make sense, Lee? I know you're, you're kind of a spiritual guy. Yeah. Does that make sense? That spirituality is about wholeness, right? It's about unity. Yeah. It's about our connection with, you know, God, for lack of a better, lack of a better word. Our connection with divine force. Our connection with divinity. Connection. This is the operative word. Connection. Spirituality is about connection. Relig means to reconnect. Religion means to reconnect. So this is true religion. So our sense of disconnection from spirituality is fundamental. And we're encouraged to think we're encouraged to, to redirect our attention to the physical realm away from the spiritual realm because nobody wants us to know, at least the power structure doesn't want us to know that we're spiritual beings and we're powerful. Does and that make sense? Gravity. Yeah. What's that? 100%. Yeah. I don't so, know what you mean by gravity so the subject, there. The change, the change begins with kind of just... Uh, for understanding you're connected to the universe. Of the, higher, Get a the higher route when you're being pulled down. Yeah, reconnecting exactly. Turning your attention back to your connect to your uh, to your the sense of oneness. Get a book called The Living Universe. If you're a scientist and you think this is, or you're scientifically minded and you think this is airy fairy, get a book called The Living Universe by Dwayne Elgin, E L G I N, and okay. it's a really cool book. And it's not religious, but it explains this idea of our connection to the universe. He calls it the living universe. And religions of throughout history and and, and prophets and wise men and you know people who are trying to help have always pointed point us in this direction. The next level is the mental level, and that is underneath the spiritual level. The mental level is the level of thought. And make no mistake about it, the thought becomes the body. The thoughts through the action of hormones. Hormones are the link between our thoughts and our bodies. So that's the science, folks, right there. It's not airy-fairy. Mind over matter. I love it when people say, well, do you believe in mind over matter? Well, of course you believe in mind over matter. Do you believe in mind over matter, Lee? Yeah, of course. How, how could you just lift your arm? What do you think that is when you lift your arm? That's mind over matter. What's the placebo effect? It's mind over matter. Mind precedes matter. Everything, is preceded, everything that's physical is preceded by a thought and then a feeling. And actually, thoughts and feelings are two sides of the same coin. 
thoughts and feelings. Every time you have a thought, there's a feeling that's, that's imme- immediately associated with that, or I should say an emotion that's immediately associated with that. And then uh, the emotion leads to a thought, and a thought leads to emotion. It's like this circle, and they're yin and yang, and they're two sides of the same coin, or whatever metaphor you want to use. They're linked to each other. And each one of those produces a hormone, which then produces the body. And I'm guilty sometimes of working backwards. Of, of not addressing the, the, the direction, uh, working with the physical first, not addressing the true direction of health and wellness. And I, yeah, that's I admit why I that. Ask, because if the spiritual component is at the top, then, you know, we're talking about vitamins and nutrients. Which I are, know. You know Believe me, I understand this. However, under deficiency states, you can do a lot with nutrition, and most of us are deficient. You're not going to solve the problem completely, but there's a lot you can do with nutritional, uh, with nutritional supplementation. And if you've already started the ball rolling on spirituality and mental and emotional strategies, then nutritional supplement, supplementation is the next step. You follow me? It's not like you have to be yeah. completely spiritually enlightened and unified and be thinking only pure thoughts and feelings, uh, feeling only pure yeah. emotions before you can supplement. But once you've started the ball rolling on all these levels, you can get a lot of benefit from diet, from exercise, from breathing, from supplements. And I focus on on that on this program but really in my personal life and when I'm doing my presentations and occasionally it leaks through on this program too I, I always bring up I try to bring up SMEP and even if I call it unity and you know I've been talking I don't know if you heard me the last couple of days Lee but we've been talking about the connective tissue and I've been really talking about the spiritual nature of the connective tissue how it's a reflection in the body of a connective a, a connection that occurs outside the body in, in the universe there's no disconnection anywhere folks there's a connective tissue in the body. That's what acupuncture is. Meridians uh, are, I shouldn't say acupuncture. That's what, uh, uh, you ever hear this thing called ley lines? Ley line, ley, no. L-E-Y, ley lines. Some of you guys out there may have heard of ley lines. There are actually meridians in the environment, latitude and longitude meridians in the energy field. And I forgot there's, there's certain terms for them, and there are bands of energy that are actually, they actually connect things the connect solid material that appears to be disconnected is connected through electromagnetic energy. In fact, the entire universe is connected through something called plasma. 99.9% of the known universe is made up of plasma, which is stuff. There's no empty space anywhere. It's all one thing connected. Lee, that was a good digression. I appreciate it. Thank you for, uh, thank you for letting me do that. I got to go, buddy. Good to talk to you. Thank you for your call. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We've got... Uh, We've got John Tweedy coming up, the underwear guy coming up in our next segment. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, including our Retinol 5% Gel, head over to truthtreatments.com. And, of course, if you want to help me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com and sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470. When I talk about longevity, folks, I am talking from experience. I've seen the most incredible results over the last 20 years of being involved, or almost 20 years of being involved with uh, Dr. Wallach and, and longevity. And I'm not going to get into the story, but I met Doc almost 20 years ago and I've been bought in ever since. And I've seen unbelievable things. I've seen people off their medication that they've been on for years. I've seen them off multiple medications. I've seen them been in wheelchairs and then out of wheelchairs. And I've most impressively and importantly seen them lose weight because that's what everybody wants to do is lose weight. And when I go to the longevity conventions, I'm always blown away. And if, you have, if you're doing the longevity business and you haven't been to the convention, you need to go to at least one. Not only are they very informative and educational, they better you, you become a better person, but they're motivating and they're inspiring because you meet people like Underwear Guy, who I met a couple of months ago at the longevity convention. And I said, he told me a story. I said, you gotta come on the air and tell people. And that's what's so important. When you experience these transformations, and I know so many of you have, because I've talked to you, you got to share them with people. You got to let people know. It's one thing when I give you the science, but it's another thing when somebody actually does it. And that's why I said to uh, John, underwear guy, that you got to come on the program. So please welcome to the bright side, Mr. John Tweedy, the underwear guy. What's going on, John? Hey, thanks a lot. I'm really, really happy to be here. Good to talk to you. And we have, uh, we don't have a whole bunch of time. So I want, first of all, tell, tell the folks what happened to you, what your experience was. 
Well, basically, as most people will find out, that I'm a truck driver, um, and truck drivers live a very sedentary life. They sit for at least 12, 14 hours a day. And, of course, the food that we eat is not very conducive to health. We eat out of truck stop convenience stores. So you can imagine that, you know, like everybody else in the world, about 80, 90 percent of us are obese and overweight. But I had other problems. I started to notice that my ankles were swelling up. And, Mm. you know, I was always lethargic and and just couldn't concentrate. And I needed 10, 12 hours of sleep just to get, you know, get going in the day. And I knew that something was wrong. I went to the VA uh, clinic. They did uh, told me my blood pressure was coming up and that I had an irregular heartbeat, uh, atrial fibrillation. So uh, over a course of a year, they put me on uh, three uh, blood pressure medications, uh, metropolol and lodipine and lisinopril. Were the and three you had all this energy you, after, you, after you took your antihypertensive. You had all this energy. took care of your fatigue, right? That's right. That's right. Matter of fact, right before you called, I was looking at the side of a majestic minerals body by Longevity uh, of the liquid minerals, and I was doing no, no, a little I was kidding ad you. that I put I was out kidding on my you. website. John, I was kidding about the beta blockers. Those are some of the most anti-energy drugs you could ever take. People feel like crap on those things. Not to mention oh. they don't have any, uh, the libido drops, the blood, you know, it may drop the blood pressure, but it also drops your libido and your energy, too. Exactly. Exactly. And I so was on ahead. a blood thinner. I wouldn't go on Coumadin, uh, Warfin, but I did accept Pradaxa or the Bigatran was, was the ingredient. But I just, you know, I just didn't feel good about any of it. And every time I asked my cardiologist about anything natural, you know, he told me, well, we can't discuss that. We can only discuss you know, what we recommend, which is the Coumadin. And I said, you know, I'm going to have to think about this. And what I did was I jumped on. I started taking uh, all of my omega-3 fatty acids. I started learning things. You were very instrumental in my knowledge uh, on nutrition. And just to make a long story short, over the course of about a year, I came off of all my blood pressure medications. My blood pressure went down to about 97 over 58. Wait a minute. Wait. In one uh, year, uh, well, hang on, John. Let me let me sure. digest this. In one year, you got off your meds and you got on a supplement program, and your blood pressure normalized and, and dropped. Uh, what was it before? Before you started this whole thing? I'm sorry. Uh, what was that? What was your blood pressure before you started oh, your nutrition? Uh, well, the highest one I can remember was about 164 over somewhere around 95, right in that area. So you dropped it significantly. You dropped it probably 40% or so uh, in, in a year with no drugs and just nutrition. That's right. And I lost weight. You know, I, <laughs> I, I lost about, oh, at about the 30-pound range in about six months. I altered my diet. I went on the supplements. I am a supplement giant. And then uh, exercise, and uh, when I lost the weight, I started to see my blood pressure came down. I started tapering off all of my uh, heart medication. My blood pressure stabilized, and I came off of the uh, uh, Pradaxa, the blood thinner, and then I went on to omega-3 fatty acids and replacement. And I feel great. I only need now about six to seven hours of sleep a night, and... And my my career, I'm just much more alert in my mind. No, about, it does how about work. Your bo- how about the phys- your physique? My physique? Well, I'll tell you something. As a young man, I always wanted what every young man wants, and that's six-pack abs and big arms. But, you know, uh, it's a myth out there. You have to work your butt off to get that kind of body, and even then you have to have really good nutrition. So... What I found out was if I would lose the fat off of my belly, that my, that my abs would pop out. So it was really became a fat issue. And so I went ahead. Uh, I went on the diet. I took all the supplements. I, uh, and then I started to lose the fat. And when it started coming off my belly, my six-pack abs popped out. And then, you know, I work out uh, every day, a small workout that I do inside of my truck. Like That's I said, great. I'm a truck driver. And, uh, yeah, my body looks better than it did when I was in the Marine Corps. I'm not kidding you. 
So now uh, you have a web. What I love most about uh, most about you and, and from talking to you was this idea that you want to help people, you want to show people, and you want to teach people. And so tell folks about your website and what they can find out about the website, and or what they can find out on the website, and how they can find out about the website. Well, if they do a Google search, go up to this top search bar and type in the whole address: www theunderwearguy.com so it has to be the underwear guy or you will come up with uh, guys wearing underwear don't want that and or you can go to my facebook page which if you're on facebook you just type in a search the underwear guy and then when it pops up open you just hit a little tab blue tab that says learn more and when you do that it automatically takes you over to my website and they'll see your six pack Oh, definitely. You know, that's what I realized uh, early on, that really what people are, want is they want that physique. They just yeah. don't know how to get it. And cool. I really, I, I'm really amazed myself. And so, you know, I really want to help people, no matter what age they are. You know, getting old and shuffling around with a big pot belly and not being healthy, that's a myth. You, how you old are you? Be that way. How old are you, John, if you don't mind me asking? I, oh, I'm 65. That's and awesome. Proud of it. That's and awesome. The six pack. Yes, that's right. That they can six. look at my website. I don't. I don't have to just say it. I'm not like uh, you know Weight Watchers, where somebody says I lost 26 pounds. They write a book. They become a millionaire. No, you know you never see those people with their clothes off and you know 26 pounds when they needed to lose 75 pounds. You know is significant, but. Uh, it's not the real story. I took it off right. and I, main, I maintained it. And to this to this moment right now, I look the same as in that in my pictures. Now, can people email you if they have questions? Do you, do you like give advice or anything like that? Sure, sure. I have an email address. It's called info at the underwear guy dot com. And then okay. uh, I and in the about us section on our on my website. Uh, they, I have my phone number, uh, 951-634-5954. They are happy to call me, to text me. Um, I am wide open to anybody that wants any help. That's awesome. And now you're doing the longevity business too, right? Uh, yeah. I, you know, I, I'll tell you the truth. I, when I started into this, I was not interested in the business end of longevity. I was interested in their supplements. I went directly to the factory and I bought my products from the recommendations I got from you and Dr. Wallach over the years. And people were trying to say, hey, you want to sponsor? And I said, you know, no, because before I put my name on anything and my reputation, I need to try it and use it. So I did it for about a year. And then I decided I, I'm a believer. I know it works. I've proven it works. And now I'm going to go out there and help people uh, to build their own businesses and get hey, their own hey, bodies in shape. John, I, I got to motivate. I'm out of time. Thank you so much for coming on the show. It's theunderwearguy.com, theunderwearguy.com, and uh, it's John Tweet. Thanks for listening, friends. Have a beautiful, wonderful, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.